Okay, so just real quick in this video, I wanted to show you the difference between using gas and not using gas. And see if you can pick out which one I had the gas turned off on. And of course it's the one on the right, and that is an example of porosity in a weld. So it builds up a lot of holes in the weld when you don't have gas, um, and it weakens the weld. And so... Uh, what the gas does, when you turn the gas on, it helps to, uh, to transfer the heat of the arc all the way down to the metal. If there's no gas, then there's no, not a lot of heat transfer. So you can see on the left side, on the left piece, that the metal is blue. It's, it's got good bluing, which means that some good heat has been put into the metal. Whereas on the right side, you don't really see that. So um, if you're seeing uh, little pinholes in your welds, um, that's an indication that you need to uh, either clean your, your MIG nozzle out because uh, your MIG nozzle will tend to uh, get a lot of spatter stuck in it and then make nozzle dips for that where you can just dip the nozzle in and it'll keep the spatter off of your, uh, your nozzle. But uh, if there's too much spatter on there, it'll restrict the flow of gas coming out of the nozzle which uh, could potentially lead to uh, porosity in your welds. Another thing to check if you're getting porosity in your welds is that you have your, your gas turned on. You, uh, if your gas is turned off, you're gonna, your, your welds are going to end up looking like the one on the right. So um, uh, if you want good smooth welds, make sure that you have your gas flowing correctly. Clean your nozzle out and make sure your gas is on. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video.